Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to give you 10 facts about the aviation industry and air travel. At the time of making this video, we in the UK have been in lockdown for several weeks, but at last the end is in sight. The measures introduced in response to the coronavirus pandemic have devastated economies and decimated the air travel and tourism industries. Some airlines have collapsed completely, while others predict it may take several years for them to restore their businesses to pre-pandemic levels. Airline staff have been made redundant with the inevitable impact on each individual and their families. Some people have rejoiced at the sight of aircraft parked, skies cleared and airports quietened to the extent that the only flights are air cargo and emergency services. Others are counting the cost in terms of loss of employment, career setbacks, training suspended and a whole list of problems not least of which is the effect on their mental health. But aircraft will soon be flying again. So whether you're rejoicing at the prospect of aero engines overhead once more, or wishing this grounding of fleets could be made permanent, these few facts are something to mull over while you look skyward. These facts were found listed on the Air Transport Action Group website at the address you can see on screen now, so please visit the site to learn more. You can also follow them on Twitter at ATAG underscore aviation. Here are the 10 facts. 1. Over 65 million jobs are supported worldwide in aviation and related tourism. Of that figure, 10.2 million people work directly in the aviation industry. We tend to think of airline staff as being pilots and flight attendants, but the industry also supports the taxi driver that drives you from the airport to hotel, and the cleaner who cleans your room while you're at a meeting or lying on the beach. 2. 1,303 airlines, or fewer by now, operate a fleet of 31,717 aircraft, again probably not as many today, serving 3,759 airports through a route network of several million kilometres managed by 170 air navigation service providers. That's an awful lot of ancillary staff and technology keeping a vital global network alive. 3. In 2019, 4.5 billion passengers were carried by the world's airlines. 4.5 billion people who found a reason to board an aircraft. That's a huge number of willing passengers. 4. Worldwide, flights produced 915 million tonnes of CO2 in 2019, or 2% of the total produced by human activity. Globally, humans produced over 43 billion tonnes of CO2 in the same year. This includes things like shipping or the internet, both of which also account for about 2% each. 5. Jet aircraft in service today are well over 80% more fuel efficient per seat kilometre than the first jets in the 1960s. Aircraft technology is evolving all the time. It's in the best interest of the airline industry as well as the planet that aircraft become quieter, cleaner and more efficient. 6. Around 80% of aviation CO2 emissions are emitted from flights of over 1,500 kilometres, for which there is no practical alternative mode of transport. Sometimes road, rail or sea is not a viable means of making the journey. 7. Since 2000, the retrofitting of winglet devices on aircraft has meant 80 million tonnes of CO2 have been avoided. Sometimes, small design changes to aircraft can have a significant cumulative effect. 8. Deliveries of fresh produce from Africa to the UK support the livelihoods of 1.5 million people, while producing less CO2 than similar produce grown in the UK despite the energy used in transport. Which just goes to show that there's room for more efficiency and sustainable technology within agriculture in the UK and Europe. 9. The Airbus A380 and A220 
Boeing 787, ATR-600 and Embraer E-2 aircraft use less than 3 litres of jet fuel per 100 passenger kilometres. This matches the efficiency of most modern compact cars. 10. Globally, the average occupancy of aircraft is 82%, greater than other forms of transport. Airlines like to fly aircraft at full capacity, so they tend to work harder at filling seats. Finally, a reminder that tourists who fly to far-off places to enjoy ecotourism are the lifeblood of conservation projects. Without them, many of these projects that have taken years of painstaking effort to build are in danger of collapse. And rare species are at greater risk from poachers and habitat destruction. So when you see those airliners flying again, rejoice! It means that not only are economies being strengthened again, but eco-tourists are returning to where they are needed and appreciated. When airlines return to profit, it means there is more money to invest in research and design for cleaner, quieter and even more sustainable aviation. Thanks for watching, but don't go yet as I have an important request. Please consider doing one or more of the following. If you'd like me to create a video for you to promote your products or services, go to redspan.com and use the contact form or just leave a comment below. Do the same if the sound of my voice is a fit for your voiceover needs. If you'd like to sponsor more videos like this, go to patreon.com forward slash redspan. Your donation, however small, will help me to improve both the quality and the quantity of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with others. If you have any opinions, questions or feedback, please post a comment. Finally, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of new similar videos. Thank you for your kind attention.